Ho ho, me hearties, dig you do, it's just me, Scotty McClure, quick pop up on the old TikTok just to say hi to all of you, it's uh, coming up to 10 minutes past midnight on Easter Sunday morning, so there you are, Easter Sunday morning, 10 minutes past midnight, that's going from Saturday into Sunday, and I thought we'll just have a quick chat before everybody pushes off to bed in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and uh, of course, before you go for your supper in the United States of America. So welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet, just saying hi to every single one of you, and dig you do. Bobby has just joined us, and a very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Remember never to scroll and never to troll. Once you discover Scotty McClue, then that is the one for you. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so let everybody know that we are live, of course. AE e has just joined us. How fantastic is that? And a very, very warm welcome to him. How amazing is it that all you guys can get together at the stamina? I don't know. The mystery of the TikTok is just absolutely outstanding. And um, I never fail to be impressed by all the beautiful people that come and join us on TikTok. Amazing stuff. Fantastic. Uh, let everybody know, of course, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live just for you, saying dinky-doo. Uh, for the love of Jesus, Scotty, don't you get tired. Lean, for the love of Jesus, happy Easter. I say he is risen, and that's what it's all about. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, and I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I mean, you obviously must be getting tired and be ready for your bobos. That's what I say to you. Fantastic stuff. Lovely to be with everybody. There's Elias has just joined us, and we'll say hi. We'll not be up forever and a day, but I think it's very important to wish everybody a happy Easter, and that's what it's all about. Now then, do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Lots and lots to talk about, so little time to do it in. Fantastic. Uh, now, uh, there's Jenny, or oh no, Lenny, asking about football. I don't know anything about these people, Lenny, so I couldn't tell you. Um, there we are. I wouldn't be able to tell you one from the other, I say, but they're both outstanding players, so I would see, see them both play and then make your mind up. Fantastic. I kid you're a good old laddie, and you too, Lenny, Lenny or Lenny. How do I say it? My goodness, glad to see you, and glad to see you as well. Very, very important. Thank you for your reference to the Lord. Uh, now, who have we got here? Crank the hog, however, are you? My goodness me. No, I don't think I have. Uh, and I haven't played cribbage either. Late tonight, son. Hello, you're late tonight, Falky. But at least you're here. And that's absolutely marvellous. We're just doing a very short pop-up just to say hi to everybody. Scotty, hello. How are you? Kareem, why are you not asleep? Kareem's giving me beautiful, beautiful gifts. A wishing bottle waits. Um, a mini speaker. A football. GG, uh, tennis balls, a red rose, uh, TikToks, Kareem, you are very, very kind. Thank you so much. That is really, really good of you. Uh, fantastic. Pumpkin Heat has just joined us. Tremendous. Uh, what have we got here? I don't know what you're on about, the Bryson. You need to think bigger and come out with some proper chat rather than rubbish like that. Hello, mate. Hello, Trap Stottom. Nice to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo. Scotty McClue saying hi to every single one of you. Um, I'll send you a rose if you're the guy from the ads. Thank you, Crank the Hog. Uh, cheers to you. I'm finally off to work. Excellent, Lenny. Have a lovely, lovely day at work. Happy Easter. Thank you, Shandog. How nice of you to tell us. We love that. That is absolutely beautiful. A very warm welcome, folks, if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McLean live, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai, all in uppercase. Capital letters to you. There we are. The Bryson, follow us as soon as you can. Get following, guys, as soon as you come on. Follow, follow, follow. Everybody on TikTok should be following Scotty McClure. You don't want to miss a second. Thanks, buddy. And you, Shandog, 
All right, Scotty, hope your weekend's a belter. Magic Andy, dinky do to you. Have a lovely weekend and happy Easter. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you very much, everybody. Following, following, following. Can somebody let me know exactly what you have to do to follow? Because I'm shocked at how few followers we've got when I know how many viewers we've got. Oh, the famous Glasgow banter. Scottish link, dinky do. Are you Scottish? Says Nicholas. Yes, Nicholas, nothing gets past you. Well done, la. Uh, what are you talking about, fella? We're talking about everything, Jake, on here. Very, very, very busy night. So there we are. We've been talking about the football. Karim says, I watched a video of you on YouTube. You sneezed all the time. I know, Karim. I took a sneezing fit in the studio. And uh, I said, sorry about that, folks. The place is filthy. And uh, what was very interesting was the poor cleaner, a lovely, lovely lady said, oh, I was sure I cleaned everything. I said, darling, it's just a bit of fun, a bit of banter. Yes. Uh, what's your opinion on Northern England? Well, we love Northern England. Who could not love Northern England? Beautiful people in a beautiful place. That's Northern England for you. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Lane, lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty, says Lane. Lovely to have you here. We love Carlisle. We adore Carlisle. Uh, Scotty, do you think Scotland will get to the World Cup? I don't see why not, Stephen. You know, if we get, uh, get the right game going on there. Thoughts on Nicola Sturgeon? I don't have any. She's the First Minister of Scotland, and uh, I don't have any thoughts on politicians because I'm apolitical. Uh, cheers, lad. Much love to Scotland from us. Thank you, Northern Kappa. Do you like cats? I don't like cats, Robbie. I adore cats. Uh, fantastic. So lovely to have you all with us. And a big dinky-do to you from Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. This is big. This is talk show. Get yourselves on here and get following. My name is for the Glasgow banter. Absolutely small legend. I thank you. Why I used to listen to you on 1548 Max AM years ago. Absolutely, Stephen. You're 100% correct. You did indeed. I remember too our discussion about making stovies when you're at Scott FM Radio Heaven. Bobby Bears Den. We are still discussing the stovies. Is there meat in stovies? And somebody said you could stick a sausage in. So there you are, Dinky. Love you, man. Thank you, top man. Dinky do to you from Scotty McClue. Hello from Fife, Danny boy, Ken. Lovely to hear you, Faye. The kingdom, Ken. Fantastic. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do. Good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. That's what it's all about, I say. I thought Stovies was just leftovers from the meal the night before. No, hippity hoppity. Stovies is potatoes and onions, uh, all fried up. Lovely. I love your enthusiasm. Thank you. Thank you, top man. Uh, Scotty, I had a Stovie and Avi Moore. It was lush. Oh, Karim, they are lush. I say to your opinion on black bun. Which black bun are you talking? Black bun in uh, Midlothian, or are you talking black bun in Lancashire? I know, I know both of them very, very well. Absolutely love your accent, good sir. I'm an Ayrshire man, but I'd love to sound like yourself, Ryan. Every Scot sounds like me, including you. So you do not have to do anything other than your own beautiful, fabulous voice. Just enjoy being you. It's a great thing to be. That's what I say. There we are. Macaulay's joined us. Callum's joined us. Lovely to have you all with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you, saying dinky-doo. We're only up for a, for a short time. So there we are. Oh, you flatter me. Not at all, Ryan. It's wonderful. So there you go. Uh, share the live, everybody. Encourage everybody to share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you've been watching Scotty McClue and that we are live on the big one. Yes, indeed. Scotty, what's your favorite golf course? I have so many. The thing is, I don't golf. <laughs> I'm not a golfer. Hmm. <laughs> How amazing is that? A chap once leant forward and he tapped me in the sleeve. We were in dinner in a very prestigious golf club in Edinburgh. He said, 
uh, Scotty, I think I could probably get you in here, you know what I mean? And I said, yes, uh, but don't try too hard because I don't golf. <laughs> There we are. I love your voice. Thank you, Callum. You're very, very kind. I remember listening to you on the radio years ago. It says, Cheryl's, Cheryl's. We're going back on the radio very soon. So listen out for that. And of course, get on to the YouTube channel. There we are. What do you call an elephant cross with a rhino? Who I don't know. A big chap. You're an absolute legend, mate. Danny boy. You're very kind. Heidi. Heidi do. No, dinky do. It's Scotty McClure. Absolutely. What's the occasion in the photo over your shoulder? Which one? Oh, uh, the dog's graduation and I went along to hold the hood. Fantastic. That was Lord Wreath. Uh, so there we are. Dinky do. Lane says... L, if I know. Uh, yes, indeed. Scotty McClure, Nick Stick. Thank you very much. I stood next to... Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, fantastic. I stood next to Zara Tindall in her horse at Burnham Horse Show today, watching the show jumping. Elizabeth, well done. She is a delightful person. I know a lot of people that know her. The dog's graduation, amazing. Oh, he was such a clever boy. Uh, I didn't realise at the time until my mum pointed her out. Ah, oh, there you are, Elizabeth. So your mum's a very switched on lady, Zara and Mike. Lovely people. Mm. Oh, we enjoy that. Fantastic. We used to be able to uh, turn it round so you could read the writing. Uh, I'll just see if you still can. I'm having a quick look here. Uh, what have we got here? We'll try settings. See if you can do that. No, I don't think we've actually got it. We're not able to see. You used to be able to um, turn the mirror around and then you could get sorted. But I don't think we can do that. Uh, my dad knows Mike uh, has been at the rugby club and we've seen him play. Yes, indeed. Scotty, do you think Trump will get re-elected in 2024? Absolutely, 100%. I think America, including a lot of us, have made a massive, massive error of judgment in letting the Donald go. So just watch this space. Yeah, I don't think Scotty talks politics. We don't really, to be honest. Scotty, my man, it's my 31st birthday. Could you give us a wee shout out? Of course I can. Dinky do to RM Dancer for his 31st. Scotty McClue, how do you do? Two pints. How lovely to hear from you and a big dinky do. My face hurts. I'm so sunburned. I watched a horse show 10 to 4 today. I didn't wear sun cream. Elizabeth. That was madness. You should have had your Scotty McClue bunny on or your Australian hat. Yeah, so there we are, dinky -doo. Uh You got the head chef from the Georgia Hotel in Edinburgh on the phone for a definitive Stovey resume. We did, Bobby. I can remember that. We used to be able to get everybody on the phone there. OMG, I'm so happy you're in support of Trump. I know you don't do politics, but I voted Trump. I think everybody wants the Donald back. Because Uncle Joe's not really cutting the mustard. Uh, but there we are. What's the story behind saying Dinky Doo? Callum, 30 years in June, I introduced Dinky Doo to the public. And it just means it's all well with you and the world. At least that's my interpretation of it. Fantastic. Uh, lots and lots of you there sharing the video. Thank you for that. Come and follow us. Guys, always follow Scotty McClure when you come on. Very, very important. Uncle Joe's a disaster for certain. The worst, yes. I mean, what are you paying for gas at the pumps? Scotty, do you think the football authorities should help Rangers by moving fixtures to help in the Euro? I think we need to uh, see what's what. Uh, so there we are. We need the fake tan backs as two pints. Yes. Sorry if I'm not allowed to talk about football on here. Well, Stephen... We don't really, because uh, subjects like that tend to hijack the chit chat. You know what I mean? And we talked about it tonight on the phone in, because uh, obviously I do the internet phone in at nine o'clock on a Saturday night on the YouTube channel, on Facebook Live, on LinkedIn Live, on um, Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourself onto Twitch. Our guess in the UK is not much better, Scotty. It's a lot worse, Ryan. 
Uh, what do you think of the war and stuff? Well, we don't discuss that. That's very much mainstream media. This is the people of the world just having a bit of gentle banter before they go to their bed or go out for the night. So they are, what's your stance on the trans men and women's sports debate? Well, I think you've got problems there because uh, if a man goes into a women's thing, I mean, obviously, there's every chance he's built to be a lot stronger. So you you will have problems there, but nah, I don't really bother with that. Honest opinion on the box being done away with, not a problem. I think what you need is um, you need to have unisex toilets. I've said that for years. I remember an old Lancashire Lou coming on going, oh, people would be looking at your bottom. I said, what kind of toilets do you go to love? So that was that amazing. There we are. He doesn't like talking about football on here. Not really, uh, Stephen. You know, I mean, uh, what's the point in that when I've done it on the uh, YouTube videos and the TikTok videos? Check out your TikTok videos and you'll get some opinions on that from me. There was a VHS tape, an audience with Scotty McClue. Yes, and Bobby. It outsold Billy Connolly who was one of the world's top comedians at the time, Scotty McClure's video, Outsold Billy. I couldn't believe it. Incredible. Uh, why do you want to ban rap? A lot of tuneless nonsense. Tuneless nonsense. And I also heard the rap and there was a wee bit of swearing in it. I thought, nah, nah, that's not the way ahead for the world and for young people. So there we have it. No, no, we need, uh, what we need is a lot more quality in music, do you know what I mean? But um, I do not rap as a rule because I am nobody's fool. <laughs> so there's a wee rap for you. What's it like in Scotland? It's outstanding, outstanding as a place to live. There we are. Uh, surely it doesn't mean other people shouldn't enjoy it. No, but I mean, I think if you're banning something, you need to ban it across the board. You can't say, well, it's all right for them to rap and not for them. You know, I think if you're banning rap, ban it. You know what I mean? Scotty, where's your favourite place to go in Scotland or the world to go? Well, Scotland's one of my favourite places. Uh, all of it. Have you toured around the States at all? That is a luxury I have denied myself up until now. But everybody's at me to go to America and do the late night television and radio shows for you. Would you like that? What kind of music do you listen to, Scotty? The Corries. To my guilty pleasure, Ryan Harvey, I am a Corrie's disciple. I can remember going to watch them live in the 60s. Absolutely outstanding. The wonderful Roy Williamson and, uh, and, uh, and, and Ronnie Brown. It doesn't make sense if you don't like it, that it should be banned. Lots of people enjoy it. Yeah, but they enjoy it just because it's there. They don't think about it. And if you're getting root stuff coming up in lyrics, nah, 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 nah. Ban rap. Wonderful. Uh, what's your favourite place in Scotland? Oh, Callum. I have so many. I think the whole country would be my favourite place. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. There's Reese saying dinky do Scott. Shout out for his soul coats, my man. You're on late. Weege. We are on late. You're quite right. But a big shout out to Saul Coates because we love Saul Coates. Tremendous stuff. Ban rap. I can car. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'll tell you what. People that rap, they need to listen to a lot more Scottish country dance music. There would be uh, a lot less trouble in the world if everybody listened to that. Hello, new friend. How are you? We're dinky doo, Jenny. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Hi, Scotty. Follow us as soon as you can. Scotty, what was your job? Uh, reading the news on television, late night radio host, writing for the newspapers, all that sort of stuff, uh, management, organising things. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, Scotty, what was, hang on about that. Oh, yes, we've done that one, haven't we? Scottish people are cowards. We need to appreciate our music and culture more. Absolutely right. Get Jimmy Shand on. That's the stuff. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. Where are you, Ewan? Are you in Australia? Uh, if the rude lyrics are your reason you should ban pop music too. Yes, we maybe should maybe ban that. Ban anything that's rude to people. I think that's the point. 
Uh, a bit of still game. Well, Ryan, they say I was the original inspiration for still game. Uh, now, <coughs> it's not just rap. I know that. Back at you, Scotty. Any update about a return to TV or radio? Yes, I was on Liverpool Live this morning. That's why you didn't get a live pop-up this morning. I was talking to the big fella at Liverpool Live on the breakfast show. And I think we might be doing a phone-in. Um, now, there we are. Just once a week, you understand, just to let the people know and give them a bit of education in the Northwest. What time is it where you are? Well, I don't have the time. I'll pop this on and then we'll find out what is what. We'll see if we can get you the time. That's what it's all about. There you go. Fantastic. Right. Now then, what else have we got on here? This has just come up. We like this. Marvellous, marvellous. And that should give us the time. Okay, folks. Uh, now, there you are. Uh, do you remember Scotty uh, on Rabsy? Yes, I do, Ricky. All these characters. Very, very good characters on there. Every minute you're not in the telly, Scotty, is a minute wasted. Scotland's hero. Ryan, I thank you. I do genuinely, genuinely think it is absurd that Scotty McClue is not live on late night telly doing this because they would clean up, you see. Uh, so there we are. So it's, it's a bit of a waste from the television company's point of view. Hello, sir. Hello, Steve. Dinky do and welcome. I say very good to have you with us. Just a bit of late night pop up, guys. And we're about to, uh, the time is exactly half past midnight. So now you all know, half past midnight. What about that? I say to you. Remember the vital spark? I walked in the Waverley. What an experience. I remember the Waverley very, very well. It was a dear old friend of mine that made the engines for the Waverley and put them into her and the maid of the loch as well, Rankin and Blackmores at Greenock. Tremendous stuff. What's your favourite part about talking of these type of videos and to all the people? Callum, everything. I think it's lovely that we're bringing so many people together. I mean, Scotty McClure, okay, we've only got 20,000 followers at the moment. That should go up. Everybody on TikTok should be following Scotty McClure. It makes complete sense. Yes, you are the best on Scott FM. Weech, you're very kind. Scott FM of the golden days. We just didn't know it. Well, I did, Ricky. That was Scotland's finest radio hour ever. And you would need to be very, very switched on. Wow, a blast from the past. Scotty McClure, 96.3 FM. Simply fantastic. These were beautiful phone-ins, Mickey. Uh, I'm an experienced seafarer. I've always wanted to work on the mead. Uh, Waverley was wonderful. Oh, Waverley, absolutely outstanding. But apparently you can't split the crank. Now, I don't know enough about paddle engines to know why. But would it not make sense if you could have one wheel going backwards and another going forwards from a point of view of manoeuvring? Did you ever think about how rap can be cultural too? No, I don't think so. I can't see any culture in rap at all. I don't think it's just a lot of tuneless nonsense, as I say. Uh, so I wouldn't say there's anything cultural about rap. My holiday reading recently was the Chick Murray fun book, Bobby. Chick Murray was just amazing. Absolutely. The crank and the diff. Yes, yeah, Steve, I don't know if we've got one of these. I don't think you can split the crank on these paddle steamers. But I'll find out. We have a lot of experts actually listen and very often come on. You cannot. It would make the ship capsize due to the power of the paddles. So you couldn't actually just very slowly go ahead or astern on separate paddles. There's a huge culture in rap. No, there's not. Just a lot of tuneless nonsense people that can't sing. That's what I would say. Uh, JB, dinky do. Fantastic. Cheeky man, how dare you, JB? Don't be a cheeky man then. If you're a cheeky man, don't be a cheeky man. The paddles are an either on or off, you see. It's very old school. Very old school ride, but very effective. The Clyde was a wash, if you'll pardon the pun, with paddle steamers. Uh, you know, going right back to the very first one, the Comet, 
in 1812, and on the Forth and Clyde Canal, the Charlotte Dundas. If you look at the TikTok videos and also the YouTube videos, get on to the Scotty McClear YouTube channel and uh, uh, subscribe and tap the bell. There you have it. Very important. And you'll see me doing a show about Port Glasgow. Just stopped and we did a random off the top of the head. More steam McPhail. I was watching the vital spark last week. Still very, very funny. Terrific. So you're saying all these rappers, yep, and the rest of them are useless. Well, I mean, what are they doing? They're not singing. You know what I mean? And and any of us can rap, you know? And uh, although m and my favourite sweets, if you mean the wrapper, the big yellow bag that they're in. I watch it very often. It's a great laugh, Ryan, for something like, what have we got? Five actors. You've got Roddy McMillan, Walter Carr, John Grieve, three, Alex McAvoy, uh, four. Uh, did we say, who else did we say? Is there just four in the crew? I have four in the crew, and then you've got others like Fulton Mackay as the minister, uh, stuff like that. Russell Hunter appeared in one of them as well. Russell, fantastic. Um, listen to Kenya Man. He's an artist. There we are. Uh, I would say, can you know? As a 20-year-old telling people I love the vital spark, I get some looks. Ryan, you know, I mean, any age, it's so very, very strange. You know, you know, it's 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 just weird. People don't understand. Age shouldn't matter in any of these things. If you're enjoying that, then it's tremendous. It's cultural. Now, that is culture. You know, you compare the vital spark with your rap. Vital Spark wins all the time. That's clever people. Making great music, mate. Your names. What was this one? Hang on a wee minute, Matt. There we go. That's fantastic. Yes, your names in music. Big names in music. Absolutely. Uh, Favourite Vital Spark was when they bought a headstone with a name on it. Cheap Bobby. I watched that one last week. Tremendous stuff. Agreed, Scotty. Vital spark blows the rap out the water. Excuse the multiple puns. Fantastic, Ryan. We love the puns. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Fulham's just joined us. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, Fulham. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to have another wee sip of the tea. As I say, this says the boss. Do you see it the right way around or do you see it backwards? Tell me. I don't know how to fix that. I used to, it would say mirroring is on or off. I don't know what they've done with the mirroring on here. The Majestic Line was another amazing one. The engineer going to the cruise liners. I know. Agreed, Scotty. Vital spark blows the rap out of the water. Fantastic. Backwards. You see, I actually used to go on the puffers. My grandparents were from Ardrishig in Argyle. And as a wee boy, I was brought up going on and off puffers. And all the skippers knew me, and they would put the boat in alongside, and I would jump on, or big, two great big strapping hands would just lift you on, you know, eh, as if you were two pounds of sugar. Roddy McMillan was the best para handy, yes, Duncan McRae, very good as well, of course, and the wonderful Gregor Fisher. Eh, fantastic. Get sharing, everybody. Get following and get sharing very, very important. That's what it's all about, I see. Right, I think it's time I wasn't here. Um, have a fabulous, fabulous evening. It's been lovely popping up to say hi to you. Look at every single one of the TikTok videos, like and share, and make sure you follow me. And also get yourselves on to the YouTube channel and take part in some of the big broadcasts on there. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening. Good night, everybody. Night, bud. Night, weech. Tatty, bye. This is the first time in your life it's both relaxing and revitalizing. Callum, that's very kind of you to say so. Shall I sing you all the goodbye song? This is a wee lullaby for you, and you can go to sleep with it. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. 
had a cheery o. Ta ta, lads! Uh, stick your tongue out and say ta ta. Are you ready? Here we go. Ba ba.